Talking tunes of Mass Grasso, talking with Beth Beeman and Beth. The Playhouse is fantastic. Thank you. If any, if you haven't been there, you've got to get to the Playhouse. It's, it's beautiful now. You have had the whole thing redone. Mm-hmm. You did it all yourself too, didn't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, from painting to uh, you know masonry and plumbing, absolutely all. Yeah, yeah. All well, me. you did quite a bit though. You and your husband <laughs> did quite a bit of work on that though yourself. A lot of demo work. Um, yeah. You know, some of the finishing stuff, but really mostly um, early on demo stuff. But uh, you know, we had a great crew and an amazing um, you know partner with uh, Winberg Construction in, in Montague. They were our construction management team, um, an incredible architecture firm out of Detroit, uh, the Resendez Group that, you know, that we work so closely with to create, you know, what we have. We have everything we need, and it's it's pretty incredible. And the guy, the guy that helped um, do that, he's like in his, he was his, like his last time that he Yeah, yeah, that Ed, too, right? Ed Francis is, was our lead architect, and Ed is in his uh, mid-80s, um, won't wow. give away his whole age, but uh, yeah, he's now fully retired, And but this was his last project for us, and he was actually the architect that was involved, um, he was involved with the Froenthal Restoration, okay. as well as the Fox Theater in Detroit, so we were super lucky to have them uh, come up and help us on our project as well. I'm glad you didn't tell me he was the one that originally designed the Playhouse, so, you know. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, how old would he be? Yeah, hmm. yeah, about a hundred and yeah, hundred and fifteen or something like that. Yeah, at least, at least. Yeah, the playhouse is now one hundred and three. Okay, so, there you yeah, go. Yeah, so do a little math there. Yeah, a little crazy. 20, maybe twenty years <laughs> added, maybe twenty three years old when he yeah. did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, now you got some great stuff coming up in January, of course, yes. and we're going to talk a little bit about that. What's What's coming up first? What's exciting? What's new? What's happening? What's happening at the Playhouse in, uh, in Whitehall? In Whitehall, and and it is just a great space. So if you haven't visited, we encourage you to do so. Um, we, we're doing a lot of different things at the Playhouse. Uh, with us being open now, we in the past we've had to close in January and February because we were just too cold. Well, now we actually have heat that heat. works. And a building that is not leaky. Um, so we can have events in January and February. So last weekend, we just had our first um, uh, sing-along movie night with Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. Had lots of fun people there. Um, we had a shadow cast for that one, but um, we're actually doing more of those. Uh, one in February, March, and April, and we'll talk a little bit about those um, in uh, the time to come. But uh, this Saturday, January 11th, we're doing um, Yoga on Stage. Um, we're calling it Gentle January. <laughs> it's really cool. Okay. Um, Cindy Beth Davis Dykema, who was a previous managing director at the Playhouse, is now um, owns her own yoga studio and uh, a company called Kalen Arts and Yoga, and she is going to be doing yoga on stage. Uh, the first, uh, the second Saturday in January, February, and March. Um, they're partial fundraisers for the White Lake Youth uh, Theater program, so that's really cool too. And you can come, you bring your mat, any kinds of props and things like that that you'd like to bring with you. It's 10 a.m., um, and it's a 90-minute class. Um, so you we'll go be, up on stage. You'll be right on the stage. Because yeah, do it in the chairs would be a little rough. <laughs> Might so, be awkward to do yeah. downward dog when you're in one of the <laughs> seats. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, so this is a really great thing, and this is gentle yoga, and so um, I'm, you know, in my 50s now, and so getting an opportunity to do some self-care as we, you know, transition into this new year and spending time um, with yourself and getting in tune with yourself, and um, it's really, this is a great way to do that. So the classes um, are $20 per session. Like I said, it's partial fundraiser for the White Lake Dramatic Club. Or you can do all three sessions for $55. So information is on our website at the Playhouse at whitelake.org. You can always call um, our office at uh, Whitehall City Hall, which is 231-894-4048 to get more information. Um, but it's a great thing. So please, if you're interested, check out the website. Follow us on Facebook as well. There's always events. Um, it's one of our best ways to get information out right. there is on Facebook um, with our events. So that's coming up January 11th. So it's this uh, coming Saturday. And then next um, coming up at the Playhouse is a really fun evening uh, in January. It is a comedy night with David Dyer. And if you don't know who this guy is, look him up. David, D-Y-E-R. And uh, it's Saturday, January 25th at 730 and this is actually a fundraiser um, being put on by the Citizens Supporting White Lake Fire. So our very own uh, Pete McCarthy, who is a White Lake Fire Authority um, 
a firefighter, um, is, is also a comedian in his own right. Uh, he is hosting the event, um, and this comedian, David Dyer, along with Matt Loria, um, are both going to be at the Playhouse at White Lake. And tickets are uh, $10 with a $2 ticketing convenience fee. Um, and it's really going to be a fun night of comedy and jokes, um, and who doesn't need a little laughter right now? Okay. So, yeah, I, yeah, it should be I, I a fun the, night. I know the name. I just don't know where I've seen him before. You've seen him before. He's done some great, the, if you follow them, if you check them out on YouTube, you can see both of them do, um, okay. you know, parts of their sets and they're both really funny. Um, a funny fireman. A funny huh? fireman. And Pete's a great guy. So yeah, they're all really good, uh, comedians and it should be a fun night uh, for a good cause helping out the White Lake Fire, uh, authority and, uh, the friends of the, th- the fire department. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So that's what we've got coming up for January. It's, uh, we, you know, it's, uh, we're easing into things as we get, um, you know, as we get out there in the cold weather, but, um, the movie nights coming up are super fun. Um, this is a big thing in the UK right now is movie sing-alongs. Yeah. So people, you know, how you're at the movie and how, you, no. if you're at Bohemian Rhapsody, you want to yeah, sing? Yeah. But I got to ask you though, yeah. as far as the first one you had, which, uh-huh. which was the, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes. Now, did you do it too or no? Because I mean, well, I've, I've been told I should go and go to that and do that, but I've never. never oh done yeah, it. I mean, yeah. everybody in the audience gets up and they participate. They yeah. sing along. They well, dance. Most of them dress up too. And, a lot of people dressed yeah. up. Um, I did not. I was working that <laughs> night, so I did not dress up. But we had a lot of people dress up, and yeah. it's super fun. I mean, some people, you know, just kind of do a nod to um, Rocky Horror, and some people totally go all out and they are in full costume, and it is super fun. And yeah. um, you know, they they have uh, what they call the Rocky Horror Virgins and some people who have never seen the show so they all get up and they have to do a pledge um you know oh, okay. along with the cast um so what a shadow cast is for those that um listening that may not know is it they basically you've got a group of actors that that sing along and act along to the movie mm. And then um, we actually, the the company that did it with us this time, um, they sold little prop bags. So when um, Frankenfurter says, a toast, you grab out a piece of toast, a bread toast, and you throw it. Um, or you have all these crazy <laughs> things. Yeah, all these crazy things. And you, you get do. to clean this up, right? Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> lovingly, the Friends of the Playhouse, who are actually hosting all of these sing-along movie nights, did all the cleanup for us. So, okay. um, But yeah, we won't have prop bags for the other ones. But it was really fun. We, yeah. And the, the cool thing was, um, with this kind of... Of a, of a show, especially Rocky Horror and some of the sing-alongs, is we're really welcoming a lot of younger people into the theater and maybe right. folks that aren't going to come for a concert or a play, but this is really their thing. Yeah. And so, you know, with it being a community theater, we really want to make sure that we're providing programming for everybody in right. our community. Uh, people came from a long way for this show. So it yeah. was really fun. Um, people had a great time. Well, I had a great time. I, I, Peter Yarrow. Yarrow. Oh, Peter Yarrow. Yarrow. Oh. That was that was an awesome time, but uh, the only problem I had was the woman that sang so loud next to me. <laughs> I couldn't hear him half the time sometimes because mm. she was singing quite loud. But you know, <laughs> other than that, it was great. It was great. No, it was wonderful. It, it was is a, a wonder. It was a wonderful show. And yeah. actually, I've been in touch with um, their manager, David Tamulevich, um, who played that night with Mustard's Retreat that same night. Yeah, they were good too, and they were wonderful. There, yeah. I'm getting trying to figure out how to book them to come back to the Playhouse in uh, later this year. She had quite year. the voice. Oh, she's yeah. beautiful. She yeah. sounded like Mary. Yeah, uh, from Peter yeah, Paul so and Mary. Too. Yeah. Um, and uh, but Since we've I been know talking personally, about it. You know, oh yeah. Anyway, yeah, she was yeah. delightful. <laughs> yeah, and but we've been talking with David, and that they're still basking in the in the glow of that that night yeah. uh, back in November, at the end of November. It was a wonderful show. Yeah. Um, we had a great time. Well, I, got, so- I, got a, I got a kick out of Peter too when he mentioned the fact that he had just got a, um, a massage from Yes. De stress you, he says. De stress you, the card says, but that's not her name. It's D anyway. Yeah. yeah. And she's brilliant too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it is really nice. And you know, actually there's um his son had called me and said, Peter's, you know, my dad's having a bad day with his back. Is there any way you have somebody who can do a massage before the show? Right. This is two hours before they were supposed to be there. So I called up D and she said, Absolutely. Send them on over. Yeah, and so, yeah. and that's one of the benefits and bonuses of living in a small town. And right. um, the fact that I can just call somebody and say, Hey, can you help me out? And she was glad to do it. And she does carry for, give a great massage too. Yeah. So I got to try that out. I got to check it out myself. Yeah. So, She's yeah. delightful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so sing-alongs. Yeah, so we're doing, um, the Friends of the Playhouse are um, doing some fundraising for us to help um, raise funds uh, for us to hire additional staff. Um, Right now, I'm still the only full-time employee of the Playhouse, so uh, we're looking to hire a part-time uh, assistant managing director that can take over some of the responsibilities that I have. Um, so that's the goal of these fundraisers, all of these um, sing-alongs. 
is to help with that. So they're doing the first one. Uh, the next one we're doing is The Greatest Showman, and that's on February 1st. So I know there's a lot of people out there that are huge fans of that show, okay. uh, followed by the Bohemian Rhapsody, which is March 7th. And then finally, um, The Sound of Music, uh, okay. a sing-along to The Sound of Music. And so all of those shows start at 7.30. Tickets are $10. Um, and um, like I said, all of it benefits the Playhouse. See, I'd so. do the Bohemian Rhapsody one. My yeah. daughter would do The Sound of Music. That was yeah. her favorite of all. So, oh, of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm actually fans of, of all of them. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So. I'll be the loud person sitting next to you singing. <laughs> well, there is a couple of songs in, in Sound of Music that, you know, were kind of fun. I might, you know, with the, with the one at the end of the end of the uh, the show when they're trying to get out of Germany. What was yes. it? Yeah. Uh, Edelweiss. Edelweiss, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, that was sad. I don't know, uh, but, but it's time to go and they're oh, oh, good. Oh, goodbye, yeah. farewell. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I'm a bit, yeah. I, mean, I haven't watched the movie in a while, as you can tell. Well, but anyway. You need to come back and see us. I guess, right? There you go. Yeah, and, and that's that's the nice thing is, especially with The Sound of Music, it's great for everybody, um, you know, and all of them are such popular um, shows and just, you know, they lend themselves so well to this, right. you know, this genre of the sing-along movie. So, you know, we'll have concessions for sale um, and it's just going to be a fun night out for families and, you know, grab your friends and come. Okay, and it's all for the the house itself, the playhouse. Yep. So yep. So all of the all of the proceeds benefit the playhouse. And the why they want to get more information, they can call. Yep. Two three one eight nine four four zero four eight. Don't be surprised when they answer the uh, phone. The city of Whitehall. The city <laughs> does own the own the theater, and that's where my office is. Um, I do have a small office at the theater as well. Or you can always check us out online at the playhouse at whitelake dot org. And absolutely, the best way to get our information is to find and follow us on Facebook. Um, the Playhouse at White Lake. So, okay. Thanks. Thank you, Beth. Thank you very much. It's lots of fun to be here. <laughs>